Hello guys and welcome back. We're going to be getting into Five Nights at Freddy's. Now, I know I've done... <clears throat> excuse me. I know I have done many a Let's Play of this. But I've got a story to tell you. Now, this is uh, Saturday morn. Well, morning-ish. And I'm currently out of internet. So you may be seeing this a couple days after. I don't know how long the internet's going to be out. But let me preface this Let's Play by letting you know that the kids earned this Let's Play. So you're going to be hearing a story here. So let's go into Custom Night. Okay. Hmm, what should we set the kids at? They recommend 3, 3, 1, and 3. And I do want them kind of out of my hair so I can tell you the story. I don't want them dumb as donuts. We did that before. We did the All Zero Run and I was laughing hysterically. Because the kids were, uh, you know, just like off staring at walls or something. <laughs> they, they just, they, they finally managed to show up late into the night, but, um, um, you know what? I've never actually played at this combination, but I'd like to do a combination to reflect what happened last night, so, um, oh god. Oh. Could I set it up? I don't know. Let's try this combination. Let's try this combination because um, it'll give just enough a challenge. I know to watch for these two and um, those two and it'll let me talk to you guys and tell you a story of last night. Now keep in mind this was a Friday night this happened on and I have insomnia. You know the medication I take. It can keep you up in that. I drink a lot of caffeine well, not a lot of caffeine. I cut down. I cut down, guys. Don't worry. I cut down. I did. I cut down so that, uh... I could, uh... Rest during the night, but I still have trouble sleeping. I have all my life. Hi, Foxy! Do-do-do. And anyhow... Around, um... Two, three in the morning... I get up to go downstairs, and uh, I hear this music, and it sounds like it's right outside the window of this certain room in my house, and I'm like, what? I'm like, well, you know, I'm just hearing things. The neighbors are having a party. No big deal. And I exit this certain room, and I'm just, I'm creeped out because it's an otherwise, you know, dead quiet street at two or three in the morning, and um, the music continues. And the music continues, and I'm not hearing people's voices. And that's what's creeping me out, because it's just music and nobody's voices. And I'm getting creeped out, okay? And Bon Bon's on the move. And, uh... I'm really creeped out at this point, because, you know, where, where are these... people... at the party? I should be... If, if music's loud enough that it's booming down the street... Where are the people? And, um... It's going on, and it's going on, and it's going on. And I go back down to try to see who's, you know, who's having the party. And, um... I see these flashing lights. And, um... I had the common sense to keep the lights off this whole time, by the way. I did not turn any of my house lights on. Um, because no one else was in the neighborhood was reacting, so I'm like, well, you know, I'll give them a free pass. Whoever this is has never done this before. They can have one loud party. But, you know, I can be cool with one loud party. Everybody deserves, you know, one big party in their life. Go ahead. Have one loud party. There's these flashing lights outside the one window. And there's this truck parked outside my house, blasting music at, I am not kidding you guys, at stadium levels. I mean, it was that loud. If you've ever been to a rock concert, it was that loud. Windows up, could not see into the truck, could not see the driver, so it was darkened inside the uh, truck. And, um, had the flashers on, it had the headlights on, and kind of like parked, like, a little bit kind of past my house. Like, he didn't quite know where he was or something. 
but had this music blasting and he just he stayed out there for hours and the only thing that saved me from going out there was the FNAF training because I kept the lights off I'm like no I'm not putting the lights on and uh, we have some bad dudes in this town and we have some troublemakers in this town and there was no way anyone else was asleep I assure you um, this music woke everybody on this street and probably a couple streets over up and uh, if none of those people were going out and messing with this dude I didn't feel obliged to go out and mess with this dude uh, I'm not sure what his deal was, what he was doing out there, but he was out there from about 2 in the morning to about 4 or 5 in the morning and I was I just eventually he eventually drove off because someone eventually pulled up behind him that had a bigger attitude problem than he did and was laying on the horn and I guess got out of the vehicle or something. I didn't see what was going on. I don't see nothing when stuff goes on. But um yeah, that was that was Freddy Krueger scary. It has someone outside your house doing that because it was like uh, he was calling somebody out and I thought, oh dear lord Oku, if he has not paid, if somebody hasn't paid their uh, dealer off or someone hasn't paid uh, their uh, mafia friend off do not let the bullets hit my house <laughs> please please, because you know this was obviously a bad dude because he had the lights on he had the flashers on. He was blasting the music. This wasn't a guy here to rob us. This wasn't a guy here who was like a serial rapist or a serial killer. This was a bad dude announcing his presence in town. And he's like, come out and see me. And I'm like, no, no, that's okay. If no one else is coming out to see you, I'm okay. And I don't think he was here for me. I think he was here for someone else. But I wasn't going out there and seeing him. Hi, Bunny. And the only thing that really protected me was the FNAF training, because I'm like, okay, treat this like a game. Um, get your flashlight. Uh, get your, um... You know, don't reveal your location to the enemy, because I was going to put the light on and reveal my location to the enemy and let them know I was awake, because obviously he wanted to get a reaction out of someone. You know, I wasn't sure if it was me or not, so I'm like, I'm not letting you know I'm here. I know your location, but you don't need to know my location. So, um, that's what happened. And as long as he didn't do anything, you couldn't really call the cops. In case you're wondering why the cops were never drug into this, he really wasn't doing anything illegal. Yes, he was parked on the road, and he was being a nuisance, but... He really wasn't doing anything illegal, and the cops are not just going to come out because he's being a nuisance. Um, and if you would have called them, it would have been like, Well, he's really not doing anything. He's playing music, and he's called. You just have to ask him to leave. <laughs> Officer, <laughs> it is three in the morning. <laughs> he's a big truck. I'm not going out there unless I have a BFG and Marines with me. <laughs> No one was going out there, and uh, like the dude across the street is like, that's so crazy, and has a chunky art dog. And if that dude wasn't going out there, I'm not going out there. I'm like, no. If all the crazy crackpot uh, military wannabes in town are going out to see this dude, I ain't going out to see this dude. So that was last night, and the FNAF training held me. Well, Ogu held me too. Ogu's like, no. You're not, you're not going out there to see what's going on. <laughs> no, you, you, you stay inside. There, you have enough excitement listening to the music from inside. So I'm, I'm like, you know, in my office upstairs with the fan on. I'm like, okay. No, if he had come inside, that would have made things different. But he never did leave the vehicle, as far as I know. I don't know. I didn't watch him. I'm not, like, up there watching this guy, but... The windows were kind of like my cameras, and he was kind of like the animatronic, and I went to my office, and I just stayed there, and I hoped he stayed on the show, say to him, someone getting ready to run, and I just hoped he stayed there and found something to do, and I think I'm not going to make it through this run, actually, but even if I don't, 
I'll put it up because it's a pretty good story. At least I think it is. Oop. Okay. I'm gonna let the bear take off. This is 5 a.m. Yeah, he can take off. I. Now I'm gonna run out of power. Let's hope we made it the whole way through. Come on, let's hope in let's hope he is in the mood to sing to mommy. Please be in the mood to sing to mommy. I will take a messy win. Don't have to be a legitimate win. Yes, 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 this is going up. That was the best story ever to me. FNAF saved my butt last night. So there you go. No termination, you're fired. Tampering with the animatronics, general unprofessionalism, odor. Thanks, management. That's okay. This game saved my butt last night, so... There you go, so thanks, Scott. And that was the first thing I thought of. I didn't think of, like, military training or any of the stuff my dad taught me from the army or anything. I thought of FNAF. That's what I thought of. I'm like, okay, this guy's a scary animatronic. They're, they're my, uh... You know, they're my uh, monitors, you know, my cameras. And that's my office. And I gone back up to the office after I checked my cameras. And I'm staying in my office. So that was your story of how FNAF came in use in real life. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you like what you saw, um, like, comment, subscribe. Hopefully this gets to you guys soon. As I said, the um, internet is down. I fixed the box. I fixed the Wi-Fi. You know, I went down and did the thing they tell you to do. It's still not up, so I don't know how long that's going to be out. Uh, as soon as it is up, I will get this up to you, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.